The South Bay Workforce Investment Board held its annual Alumni Awards Dinner at the Torrance Marriott. Daniel Lindley was there for the awards ceremony. For the past 23 years, the South Bay Workforce Investment Board held a yearly banquet to celebrate those who have overcome the barriers to employment. So we, we serve um, thousands of participants each year, but we picked out a handful that were indicative of the successes that many of the people that come to our one-stop centers achieve. The South Bay One-Stop Center offers various trainings, such as job skills, education, and career development, helping people get employed, like U.S. Army veteran Leslie Harris and UC Riverside graduate Connie Choi. Well, personally, it's helped me gain employment. It's helped at an incredible rate. Um, not, it not, not only did it not take long, but it, um, it has kept me employed and has continued to keep me employed. Growing up, I didn't ever feel like I had a lot of opportunities around. And for a program like this to give opportunities for students who are from working class families, it's amazing. Hawthorne City Council members explained that partnerships with the South Bay Workforce Investment Board is very important for the community. It's part of the solution. If you don't have this, there's going to be a lot of people that are unemployed. It's very important that the city of Hawthorne continue its relationship with the South Bay Whip because any co community such as Hawthorne that cares about its residents is going to want to make sure that they're trained with the latest uh, skills, the latest technologies to be able to compete in the workforce. According to CEO Jan Vogel, the One Step Center has helped more than 100,000 people a year in its 35 years of service. That's over 3.5 million people. For HCTV, I'm Daniel Lindley. For more information on the South Bay Workforce Investment Board and the One Stop Business and Career Center, visit their website at www.sbwib.org.